All right, hello everyone. My name is Enzo and welcome back to Prison Architects. We are still in our maximum security prison here, and we are sort of stabilizing, which is uh, good. Although, of course, as always, Adam Griffin is still not feeling too well. Uh, I don't like the fact that uh, his clothing isn't being replaced. I think it seems like we only have prisoner uniforms in the wrong color, but I'm not quite sure if that's how it works. Uh, we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Hmm. Does he actually get any free time soon? I feel like we need to get him more free time. Although I saw him saying th something about hygiene, but I can't see it in his needs. So probably I'm, I'm did not see that correctly. So it's it's still it's just clothing. So we really need to get that clothing fixed for him. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, we were also building. CCTV monitors, which apparently don't have any electrical power. Let's fix that. There we go. And I uh, looked up on the interwebs that they can be connected to eight monitors, uh, to eight CCTVs each. So actually, I think one will just uh, do for now. But eh, that's fine. So we will connect those up. Uh, let's see. I think we need connect. And then back the other way I think that's how this works if I'm not mistaken could be wrong so we're using the left one first just so we know now um, we'll have to also see if the guards will know which CCTV monitor to actually sit at we'll take a look do we only have three CCTVs at the moment I think that's correct, but I want more. For example, I think we really need one. What's that? Oh, here we go. I'm griffing again. Okay, so again. Oh, I think his clothing thing is gone now, but that's maybe because he's taste. Can't be sure. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to say is let's put a CCTV in the... Oh in the kitchen is this correct this is correct okay and then connects uh, we can't connect until we actually have that TV up and running so that's a shame open we need to have this monitor thing itself as well working I think we could use just a guard here just a guard let's see how that works He's actually moving there. Eh. Oh, come on, guys. I guess we don't have enough guards. Which is sort of annoying. Still the clothing, though. No, it's not. It's didn't, it just didn't work. And why are you walking with laundry baskets? That's not your job. It's so strange. Still the clothing, okay. So we have a lot of guards, actually. But apparently it's not enough. And you are actually not at the correct CCTV monitor, so we'll dismantle this one, because that's nothing is connected to that one. So that's actually fine. And then we'll have one guard actually sitting at the correct station. Do we have a... Uh, no, we don't even have the... the oh, we, actually we did. Whoops. Okay, so let's do that again. Connect and go over there and then back the other way, right? Huh? What's going on? Is this not working? There's a blue one there. Oh, it's actually four? So... Let's not dismantle that one, and let's see if we can actually connect that one up to this. No. So that, I think, I don't think that's the problem here. Which is strange, so let's dismantle this. So that this guard can actually do something else. And see if that's the problem. I don't know. Oh, it is actually working now. Is that true? Yes, yes it is. So somehow, 
We fixed that. And now it's connected up to the other one as well, it seems. Ugh. I don't like this. Okay, so how can we actually disconnect this? Clear connections. Yes, thank you. Connect. And then let's start from this end. And then back. Yes. Okay, we fixed that. So that's good. So I think this can be safely dismantled now and that will free up this guard. Yes, there we go. Okay, very good. And we do have one guard stationed there to open the doors. Uh, I've got one there. Got one there. We've got a lot of cell, uh, a lot of jail doors, and that's that's not working, working out for us very well. Um, let me just quickly check here. Um, prisoner, a uh, prison architect. Prisoner uniforms. Security. Mm -hmm. Prisoner uniforms are purchased automatically when you fail to uh, upkeep them through laundry. So they will change. Ah! That's clothing. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on, Adam. You can do this. Yes! Yes! Very nice. Okay, so actually it was fixed. So we might, I mean, we might need an extra janitor. Although this really should be the job of the um, of the prisoners who are doing this. Ooh, you are actually not connected up. Is that true? There you go. No, we'll probably fix it. Okay. So I think... I mean, uh, things seem to be all right. I think we should probably do a shakedown tonight uh, to see if there's any sort of uh, problems with tunnels, which is a thing. And the gardener is just cleaning the gate, which is fine. So uh, we've got our education stuff going on. Ten prisoners, uh, the foundation education course, and one prisoner in past the general education course. I, th I don't think that will happen anytime soon. Adam, come on, man. Environment is a problem. Even though it all seems pretty clean to me here. Environment is a problem. Okay. Well, I mean, this guy is just going to be... Probably going to be complaining about everything here. Taking steps against global warming is all of our responsibility. Eh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if we can do anything about this. There is a TV already in here, so but I'm not sure if that helps. Phone tap. <laughs> eh, I guess it's fine for now. Could could add a, a um, bookshelf. Is that a thing? Bookshelf. I think so. Yeah, bookshelf. There you go. Go read. And become smarter, you guys. Especially you guys. Oh, this guy, though. I think he's just been in um, in solitary. Okay. So we've got 9k in the bank. Let's see what we can do with it. We have increased the side of security. Uh, force place CCTVs. Uh, CCTV cameras throughout your prison. We are at 66%. So actually, we need some more. Although I do like the visibility that these cameras give us. So, well, we could add some just for sport in the classrooms, maybe. Uh, I don't like the fact that these guys are here, but oh well. Someone needs to clean this uh, this floor, I suppose. So where sh would we need... We, we might actually need one in the infirmary. Um, would these cameras go through walls? Because that would give us vision in the infirmary as well, if there isn't a doctor in there. For now, I think we'll just add one in the holding cell. And then see if we can't... What's this? Are these bullets? No, it's not... Hmm, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So let's add, let's add this CCTV here. And probably one here as well. That sounds interesting, I guess. And then one in... I don't know, the random classroom in the middle, just because. So how many do we have now? We've got quite a lot, actually. 
Let's take a look at our connections. Uh, connect. I can't tell actually. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just count them. Like one, two, three, four. I think it's four right now. We're gonna hopefully get it up to eight. Okay. Let's connect this one. And then this one. And then this one. Is that all? I think those are the main ones. And did we now finish this? Yes, we actually finished that. Okay, so increase the size of your security force is the last one that we need to take to get another 20k in here. Seems good to me. I like the vision though, and it, ah, it actually works through walls as well. So that goes for this one as well. Can't see, but I think so, yeah. Okay, actually, let's do uh, the shakedown. And actually, also, let's get some more guards. Like, let's get three more. We're at 75% still. Uh, so that's going to take another, I think, I don't know, about 10 more guards before we can actually get this. So I'm not quite sure if that's what we want to do right now. We don't actually have a guard sitting there now. That's sort of fine because he's working on the shakedown. So that's all right. So the security force... Uh, it's just not big enough. But the problem is that we can't really do anything about that until we have more prisoners. We can't have, excuse me, more prisoners until we build more cells. So yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Okay. A baton, I think is what you call that. This guy is going straight to the solitary confinement. Pretty good. And we're actually doing quite nicely here with the shakedown. Getting close. Let's just speed it up a bit. I know I was on speed 2 for a while. Just wanting to uh, get a good view of the prison. But actually, oh, there's a drill here. I wanted to say, there's not a lot of stuff going on here in the prison at the moment, so that's good. Right, so we did get a drill inside of our stack of ingredients here, so how could we prevent that? I'm thinking, let's get two metal detectors here. We might actually remove this one in that case. Although I like the, uh, the extra check there. So I think those are a thousand bucks a pop, as you say. Um, metal detector, yeah, a thousand. So that was bring us, bring us down to five, five K. And we're losing a lot of money. So we need, I think we need prisoners, more prisoners to make this work. Okay, uh, let's see, how can we do this? We still have one grant slot free, because we have two. Visitation rights. Mm. Visitors, tables, common room, we have pool table, two TVs, five phone booths. Yeah, we don't have the the visitors' tables, that's a thing. And it's a shame as well, because what we could do is maybe create another visitation room here, but what would be the point of these booths? Another option is just to build them and then... Uh, destroy them again just to get that grant completed it's just 5k but i think it's probably worth it uh so yeah let's do that one two three then let's make this visitation so we have a double visitation and then we'll actually create that common room it's the pool table, come room, at least two TVs. I think we have those already. Uh, yes, and then five foam. Oh, no, we don't have. Oh, we need to add them in the common room. Is that what's going on here? One, two. We'll get some chairs so that we can actually uh, do a group meeting here with the psychiatrist, psychologist person. Okay, and then booth phone booths, which we can actually place here as well. And there you go. 
So utilities, I think we have enough here. Let's add it just in case. Okay. Yes, grand completion. Very good. So actually we did have the TVs. Well, that's sort of fine as well. Okay. We just pull up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, 10 prisoners passed the foundation education. Yeah, that's going to take a long time. Let's take a look at our programs. Guard Taser is, is doing well. But other than that, oh, we, ha we have spiritual guidance. That would be good at some point, but we don't have the money right now. Kitchen safety, zero persons interested. Workshop, just the one. Behavioral therapy. Can I see who wants to take this? Let's do this. Maybe it's uh, it's Adam, right? Would be interesting. No, uh, no persons interested in general education qualification. Eh. Parole hearing, right? Do we have a parole room? We don't. Let's make one. Is that part of some kind of a grant program? Short-term investment, long-term cell block B fifty. Uh, laundry, kitchen, cleaning cupboard. That could work out quite well. Laundry. That's, that's one of our devices that went off. Uh, let's see. Deployments? No. Uh, yeah, no, no. Logistics. Ah! That explains things. Sorry, guys. You probably had already noticed this, and I hadn't. No one was assigned to do laundry stuff, so it was all down to our janitor. Okay. So now that that is out of the way, you've got another 10, 10k as a grant. Very nice. Prison manufacturing facility. Uh, produce 30 license plates. Well, that's... I don't think we will do that right now. We will get some more hidden stuff. Carpentry, inmate nutrition, crackdown on drugs, tool cleanup. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we could do with uh, manufacturing at some point. But it's probably not going to happen right now. By the way, we could just hire and fire a bunch of guards here to get this grant. But probably we do have enough money to get another cell block up and running. So I'm thinking let's just do that and that's going to be fine. Um, okay, that sounds good. And what I wanted to do is a parole hearing because that actually gives us money, I think, if someone is, uh, is actually released early. Let's go with the parole room. Oh, minimum size, 5x5. Five five. Okay, you know what? We did get that grant for um, for the visitation, right? Did we? Visitation rights, yes. So actually, let's cancel this. Which is, I mean, it's a bit lame, but yeah, we got the, uh, we got the, the grant, right? Uh, is this 5? I can't tell. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a shame. So what we'll do is um, get rid of this room so it's five by five mm. just thinking if we could get in two rooms here and we could uh, it's gonna be a bit of a mess in this room here uh, but that's fine uh, we'll first get rid of this wall and then we'll see what's gonna happen we've got a door here yes uh, how do we want to go about doing this? I think what we'll do is uh, actually can we get one, two, three, four, five wall? One, two, yeah, okay. So the wall is actually supposed to go here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. This will be gone soon. Except for oh, there we go. And I think that should probably sort of work. Lots of guards in the kitchen as well. Jeez. Ah, we've got taser certification going up. Very nice. For a lot of new guards, actually. Jeez. This is very good because uh, I think we need that to be safe, to be honest. Okay, here we go. This is a jail door, okay. Which makes sense because this is, I mean, this is the way out, right? So, okay, concrete wall. Like so. And then let's go with a door. Actually, probably a jill. Nah. Well, yes. And then probably a guard here stationed. 
So dismantle this. Dismantle that. And then make them walls. Make them walls. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Walls. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, so these are parole rooms now. I don't think we need two because these guys are probably not going on parole anytime soon, but there you go. Visitor table indoors. And there you go. Okay, very good. We still have three visitor tables. And let's do it like this. Oh, you can't. That's a shame. Oh, well. Now we get a guard station there. Just to deal with any stuff that might happen. Actually, let's dismantle you. Okay. Station. Very good. Nice. So, what we can do now is actually set a program for... Although, I think we... Yeah, parole hearing. One in queue. Very good. Nice. One prisoner up for parole. Yes. He's tired. Oh, well. Get over yourself. Du -du -du. Losing a lot of money again. And I think we probably would do well to start building that cell block pretty soon now. Probably somewhere around here. And then increase the size of our uh, inmates population by, I mean, around double probably. And then probably that would make us probably bre break even. Though I can't be sure. Uh... But, I mean, overall, I think we're doing quite well. I don't like the fact that we don't have any cameras in here. Uh, how many cameras do we have? Can we... Uh, my PC is really starting to struggle in the maintenance view. It's always difficult somehow for the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I think that's it. Okay. So what we will do is place one CCTV camera there. To give us, hopefully, vision in... Yeah. In the laundry room and in the common room. These guys are working but not actually doing anything. Just because there isn't a lot of stuff to do. To do. Mm, ah, that's sort of alright. We'll go with... Oh, we only have three. That's a shame. Okay. What we can do is um, build a shop as well at some point so that people can actually buy things with their money. That could be good. And utilities. Connect. Does that not work? Ah, come on. Maybe it's, it's too much, but then I think it still, still should work. It, it looks to be working all right. And now we can actually see inside here. Hmm. Yeah, I think it works. We've also got the solitary confinement inside our uh, radius of what we can see. So that's good. Okay. So, plans. Plans for the next episodes. Let's see. I think we'll have to build... Because, I mean, look at this. We've got... This is our cell population. Cell blocks. And this entire thing is the rest of the prison. So, I mean, the balance is a bit off, right? And and that's just how it goes in the in the beginning of uh, building a prison, where you need to build all of the stuff. Although we did maybe go overboard on the classrooms, I have to admit. But still, you have to build a lot of stuff that you just need to have at some point to keep your existing population happy. But then at some point, of course, we need to find that balance again, where we have actually have a lot more uh, inmates as well. And then that would also <laughs> give these guys something to do. Because, of course, this looks bad. <laughs> In fact, I, I think we probably need... No, uh, let's... Stop this. So that they have free time. Because I don't want to uh, have a riot in here, I have to say. We might actually also want to build another cleaning cupboard. So that we have more people cleaning the prison. Because that seems to be more pressing than 
laundry room, especially looking at this, where people are just not doing anything. This guy wants drugs, well, we won't supply that to him, I'm sorry to say. It seems that the cameras are not working, but probably just because the guard was gone. It looks like all cameras are work working all the time. Very curious, by the way, to see when that parole hearing is. 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., so it's four hours. And that's just gonna happen in about 11 hours of time. So we'll just have to be a bit more patient. Right, so for now we'll put in a cut. I think we are doing quite well. It seems the prison has sort of balanced out, at least in terms of uh, rioting and uh, people getting killed. So that's good, that's, that's always my goal, not having people killed. And up to um, now, getting to work on the actual inmate uh, balance as well, where we actually get some more prisoners inside our prison. So let's build more prisons, prison cells in the next episodes. We'll see how that goes. In any case, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.